Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim in the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Dear students, welcome you all in Pakistan International School Taif Virtual Learning System. Today is our 16th video lecture and this is for grade second year students, boys and girls. I'm your mathematics teacher, Mrs. Rosia Imran. In first 15 lectures, we are, I already discussed chapter number one and chapter number five, and I started chapter number two. First two exercises already done, 2.1 and 2.2, and in 2.3, first 11 question I already discussed with you. Today we will start chapter number two, exercise 2.3, Question number 11. In this exercise, I discussed quotient rule and product rule for in derivation with you. Question number 11 is you have 2x minus 1 divided by under root x squared plus 1. So you differentiate with respect to x. So how can we differentiate with respect to x? We suppose let y is equal to 2x minus 1 divided by under root x square plus 1. So differentiate with respect to x. So we differentiate left hand side and right hand side dy by dx and d by dx. If you check this is given in form of fraction. So if it is given in form of fraction, so which one rule we apply? We apply quotient rule. Quotient rule is that the denominator square we will take and then in the numerator, the denominator value, then the derivative of the numerator value minus numerator value and then the derivative of the denominator value. So if you check in the denominator, this one over two will cancel with two and we get x square plus one. In the numerator, the first value x square plus one power one over two we copy as it is and we take the derivative of this value. When we, the coefficient we write as it is and the derivative of x is dx by dx, which is equal to one and one multiply with two, we get two. And for constant, you know that the derivative of the constant is zero. So therefore we didn't write anything here. Then minus sign as it is, then this value two x minus one, and then the derivative of the denominator. So how can we take the derivative of the value if it having power? The power will come in the coefficient and from power we subtract one. So from one over two when we subtract minus one, so minus one over two will come. And then we take the further derivative without power that is x square plus one. Now this two multiply with this bracket. So we write two in the start and minus two x minus one. And here this is negative to make it positive, we shift it in the denominator. And d by dx x square derivative, the power will come in the coefficient two and from power two we subtract one, so we get power one. And for one, the derivative of one is zero, so therefore only we write the derivative of x square, which is equal to two x. Now this two and this one two will cancel with each other. And if you check, we have one over x squared, this denominator we write it outside, or you can write it in the, in the same way, just like here it's written. So two x squared plus one, one over two, and look, here the power is one. When we take it in the denominator, it will be minus one, so one over two minus one, we get x squared plus one, so we take the We take it in the, okay, the denominator we copy as it is, no change. This two will cancel with this two and this x multiply inside this bracket. So two x square 
minus x. Now we take the LCM of these two. So LCM is x square plus 1, 1 over 2. And here x square plus 1 multiply uh, the denominator and this one value same. So when multiply with each other, so power is 1. So we get 2x square plus 2 and open the bracket minus 2x square and this minus will change into plus plus x. Now minus 2x square plus 2x square cancel with each other and we get 2 and this x, this one. So x plus 2 and in the denominator x square plus 1 and under root x square plus 1. Now this x square plus 1 power is 1 over 2. Here power is 1. So 1 plus 1 over 2 we get 3 over 2. So this is the solution of question number 11. Now come to the next question. Next question is under root a minus x or under root a plus x. This you try it by yourself. Before taking the quotient rule, what will you do? You rationalize it and after that you solve. Or just directly you can take the quotient rule of this. Now next question is under root x square plus 1, under root x square minus 1, let y is equal to under root x square plus 1 divided by x square minus 1. Now both having power 1 over 2, so we write it in whole power 1 over 2. Now differentiate with respect to x. You know that the rule of the derivative that anything in power it will come in the coefficient and from power we subtract 1 so 1 over 2 minus 1 we get minus 1 over 2 and then further derivative without power that is further derivative without power is x square plus 1 x square minus 1. So this one value we copy as it is to make it positive we write its reciprocal so the power will be positive and we take the quotient rule on this side. So x square, the denominator, we copy as it is and whole square and then the denominator, derivative of the numerator, x square plus 1 minus x square plus 1, derivative of the denominator. When we take the derivative of the numerator, so it will be 2x, power will come in the coefficient. From power, we subtract 1, so 2x will come and 0, so we write just 2x. And then the numerator, x squared plus 1, we copy as it is. And the derivative of the denominator, so it will again 2x minus 0, so 2x we write it here. Now open the bracket, this 2x multiply inside, it will be 2x cubed minus 2x and here when 2x multiply inside and we open the bracket outside is negative it will change the inner sign so minus 2x cube minus 2x so minus 2x cube plus 2x cube cancel with each other and we get minus 4x under root x square minus 1 power 2 now this here we have power 2 and here in the numerator power 1 over 2. So we take it in the denominator. So 2 minus 1 over 2. And uh, this 2 will cancel with 4. We get minus 2. Under root x square plus 1. We write. So we get this answer. With this we also write x. Because x is not cancelled. Uh, here it didn't write. But you write it x here. Here you write x in the numerator. Rest of the value is same. Now come to the number 14. Number 14 before applying quotient rule, you rationalize it. How can you rationalize the denominator, um, the conjugate of the denominator under root 1 plus x minus under root 1 minus x multiply and divide with, the, with this question. So we get when we multiply with the numerator, we get whole square because both values same. And when we apply on the denominator, you know that this is a plus b and a minus b. So formula a square minus b square will apply. So the first term square minus the second term square. 
Now square and square root cancel, square square root cancel, we get 1 plus x minus 1 and plus x when we open the bracket. In the numerator, we apply a minus b whole square formula, which is a square plus b square minus 2ab. So with this formula, we open it, square and square root cancel, 1 plus x, square square root cancel, 1 minus x, minus 2 under root 1 plus x, 1 minus x. So minus x plus x cancel and 1 plus 1, 2. So my 2 minus 2, this is a plus b, a minus b, which is equal to a square minus b square. So a square is 1 square minus b square is x square. In division, we get 2x because minus 1 and plus 1 cancel. Now take the two common from the numerator, we get 1, 1 minus and x square. 1 over 2, so this 2 will cancel with 2 and we get 1 minus 1 minus x square 1 over 2x. Now differentiate with respect to x. So when we differentiate with respect to x, again we apply the quotient root. So when we apply quotient root, the de denominator square and then the denominator derivative of the numerator minus numerator derivative of the denominator. So when 1 over x square, the denominator we write as it is. This x we write as it is. When we take the derivative of 1, it will come 0. And when we take the derivative of this value, you know that if anything having power, so power will come in the coefficient. When we take its derivative, 1 minus x square and from power we subtract 1 and then further derivative without power 1 minus x square and minus the numerator as it is and the derivative of the denominator, so x derivative is one. Now one over x square, we copy as it is x, and this is zero, so zero uh, uh, subtract from any number, we get the same number, minus one over two, one minus x square, one over two minus one, so minus one over two we get. When we take the derivative of this value, one derivative is zero and minus 2x because the 2 will come in the coefficient and from power we subtract 1 so minus 2x we will get and here open the bracket minus 1 minus minus plus and then 1 minus x square 1 over 2. Now this 2 will cancel with this 2 minus and minus multiply plus so we get x square this x multiply with this x square divided by under root 1 minus x square this minus 1 we copy as it is plus 1 minus x square 1 over 2 again we take the lcm of these three terms so when we take the lcm so we get 1 minus x square 1 over 2 x square and here minus 1 minus x square 1 over 2 and plus 1 minus x square 1 over 2 power 1 over 2 multiply 1 over 2 so when powers added so we get 1 minus x square now minus x square plus x square cancel and we get this value and when we write it in the form of power so we get this so this is the required answer it's very easy not difficult you try it inshallah when you do you will feel that it's not a difficult question you can easily solve it Now come to question number 15. In question number 15, you have given in the numerator x multiply with this and then divide by this. So means that first of all, we apply the product rule. So when we apply the product rule, you know that the first term we write as it is derivative of the second term plus Second term we write as it is derivative of the first term. This is a product rule, you know that. So give them name one. Now the derivative of this term, you know that it's given in form of quotient. So power will come in the coefficient one over two a plus x, a minus x power minus one and the derivative without power. So to make it positive, we write its reciprocal and this without power value, we, for this value, we are finding derivative. So a minus x whole square, denominator square, denominator and derivative of the numerator minus numerator derivative of the denominator. 
this value we copy as it is a minus x and you know that a is a constant number so its derivative is 0 and x derivative dx over dx is 1. a plus x we copy as it is derivative of a is 0 and minus x derivative is minus 1. Now a minus x plus a plus x divided by a minus x whole square. So minus x and plus x cancel with each other. We get 1 over 2 to make it, to shift it in the denominator. So its power will minus 1 over 2. So 2a divided by a minus x whole square. Now if you check, this is a minus x, this is a minus x. If the bases are same, so their powers added. So 2 minus 1 over 2. So it will be 3 over 2. Now we put this value, this value in equation number one here in this position. So x, x multiply that value which we already find and the second value, this we copy as it is and the derivative of x is one, this one. Now, if you check here, you have given one fraction and here another fraction. So we take uh, LCM. So when we take the LCM A plus X, 1 over 2, A minus X, 3 over 2. So the LCM divided by the first fraction denominator, we get 1. So A, 1 into A plus X, A plus X will come. When the second fraction denominator divide by the LCM, so 3 uh, by 2, uh, 1 over 2 and 1 over 2 cancel and one time it's left. So a minus x and similarly one time a plus x. Multiply with a plus x, so a plus x will come. Now open the bracket, multiply these two bracket, apply formula and we get this answer. Question number 16 and 17 are very important question. So in these two question you have given show that. Show that means this is given, you will solve this portion and you will get this answer. Answer is given in the question means that you have to show that y is equal to under root x minus 1 over under root x is equal to 2x derivative of dy by dx plus y is equal to 2 under root x. So you prove this. So if you check, it will help us how to solve. If you check derivative dy by dx is given. So means that first of all, you take the derivative of this value, x1 over 2 minus x minus 1 over 2. So dy by dx, you apply the derivative on both sides. So we get dy by dx, d by dx, x1 over 2 minus x minus 1 over 2. So if you check the power will come in the coefficient and from power we subtract 1 so we get minus 1 over 2. Similarly here power will come in the coefficient so minus 1 over 2 into minus plus 1 over 2 we get x minus 3 over 2. Now multiplying by 2x. Why? Because if you check with dy by dx you can check here 2x is present. So you multiply both sides by 2x. When you multiply both sides by 2x, so 2x dy by dx, 2x this one value plus 2x this one value. Now this 2 will cancel with 2 and here x power 1 and minus 1 over 2. So x power 1 over 2 we get. And this 2 will cancel with 2 and here x power 1. So 1 minus 3 over 2. So we get minus 1 over 2. Now adding y on both sides. Why adding y on both sides? If you check in this, show that plus y is given. So we add y on both sides. So we add y here and here. Now we put the value of y in this side. When we put value of y, x power minus 1 over 2 cancel with x power minus 1 over 2. So we get 2x power 1 over 2 and 2x power 1 over 2 we can write it 2 under root x. So means that we show that that y x power 1 over 2 minus x power minus 1 over 2 is equal to this. So this is very important question to improve that and show that already we have given and we have hint that how to solve, how to proceed the question. If you check here dy by dx, so we take the derivative with respect to x and then we 
can check that with dy dx 2x multiply so we multiply both side by 2x then you check we have given an addition y so we add y on both side in this side we put the value of y in this side we write as it is so we get the required result now come to question number 17 In question number 17, if y is equal to x power 4 plus 2x squared plus 2, then prove that dy by dx is equal to 4x under root y minus 1. So first of all, we take the derivative of the left hand side. So uh, of this given value, dy by dx and derivative of this, you know that x power 4. So power will come in the coefficient and from power we subtract minus 1. And here plus 2 power will come in the coefficient and from power we subtract 1 and the constant derivative is 0. So we get 4x cubed plus 4x. Now 4x is common in both. So we take 4x common we get x squared plus 1. This is we give them equation 1 name. Now y is equal, if you check here, you have y minus 1 under root. So this we copy, uh, this we write as it is. So what will we do? We write the value of y, x power 4 plus 2. Then we subtract 1 from both sides. We subtract 1 and we get this value. If you check, this is a perfect square, x square, whole square. Plus this is formula of a square plus 2ab plus b square. So we write it in close form x square plus 1 whole square. Now to remove this square, we take square root on both sides. So square and square root cancel and here square root will come. So under root y minus 1 is equal to x square plus 1. If you check in equation 1, you have given x square plus 1. So you put the value of this that is under root y minus 1. So this is our required result. Again, look. Here we have given dy by dx equal to 4x under root y minus 1. According to this, because this, this we are going to prove. So we solve this. What will we do? First we take the derivative on both sides. When we take derivative 4x is common, we take it common, give them name result 1. Now we are going to find this 4x we already find and we are going to find under root y minus 1. So what will we do? We again take value of y and we subtract 1 from both sides due to this value. When we subtract 1 from both sides, so we get a perfect square, x square plus 1 whole square formula. To remove this square, we take square root on both sides. So x square plus 1 is equal to this. So in equation number 1, in place of x square plus 1, we put this value and we get our required result. This is very, very important question. Both question, question number 16 and 17, mostly come in papers. Such type of question in which we have given show that or prove that. So next, in next exercise, inshallah, we will study about the chain rule, that what is chain rule, how can we apply the chain rule. So that is exercise 2.4. And in exercise 2.4, we differentiate with respect to different variable, with respect to the other variable. So 2.4 is very, very important exercise. Inshallah, we will start in next lecture. I hope you will understand this question. If any confusion, any problem, so in Zoom meeting time, I will be uh, online available in Zoom meeting. Uh, so you can, Zoom meeting, so you can ask question of, related to these, uh, this exercise or any problem related to derivative. So you can ask. Take care. Allah Hafiz.